Visual graphics and presentations are a game changer, not just for faceless YouTube channels, but for any channel or project, even those unrelated to content creation. These stunning visuals you see here were part of the AI podcast I created just a few days ago. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend checking it out. You can find the link in the description box or click the card above. In today's tutorial, I'll show you step by step how I used AI tools to create these eye catching graphics and presentations. Whether you're a YouTuber, a business owner, or working on personal projects, this is going to be a game changer for your workflow. Let's get started. The first AI tool is called Gamma. It's a platform for creating very stunning presentations. It has a free plan that provides you with enough credits to test the platform and see how it works. Once you come into the platform and sign up at gamma.app, it will bring you to this page. You could either create from blank or import or create new with AI. I'm going to use create new with AI, click on it, and it will provide you with three options. You could paste in the text you want to convert into a presentation, or you could type in a one-liner prompt to generate the presentation for you if you want the AI to generate from scratch or you could import a file. Now I will paste the text for the topic steps for creating a faceless YouTube channel. Next, I'll click on paste in text and then paste the words I want to convert into a presentation and then choose presentation. You could choose traditional or tall. I'll just use the default and click on continue. It should go ahead to open up this. Then you could make some changes depending on the tone or what you want, but I'm just going to go ahead Ahead and use freeform leaving everything as it is and then click on continue. It is going to use 40 credits to create eight cards from the information I've pasted and I'll click on continue. It's going to open up and ask me to choose a particular theme for my presentation. As you can see, it has a plethora of themes that seem to be really beautiful. Let me just go ahead and choose one that looks really nice. I like this one. And then once chosen, you could go ahead and click on generate. Then it will generate presentation slides in a matter of minutes with the information you have provided. You can see it is generating the first slide immediately taking the information you provided and trying to make it very useful. Obviously, you have to go through it and make edits if there is something you don't like. As you can see, it even generated useful icons for the slides. This is interesting. It has gone ahead to craft out all eight slides for me, which is really cool. Once you have this done, there are a couple of things you could do here. You could make edits, change the colors, templates, and background. You could make presentations from, from here and also share them with somebody. Let me start by showing you how you could make changes. When you type into the box, you could go ahead and use the features here to change the title. You could make all types of changes with the format buttons you have here. You can change the card color. Also, if you want the slide to bleed out into the page or you just want to show in the form of a slide, you could do that as well. You could add a backdrop depending on what you want. Once the changes are complete, you could go ahead and share it. You could generate a shareable link or you could download each slide as an image if you want. For this first particular slide, I could click on these three ellipses button here and click on export card and that slide will be exported as a PNG but it's not going to be animated. But if you want to present this, you click on present. You could see that this is animated and you go ahead and click through it. This looks stunning. You could use the escape button on your keyboard to exit the presentation mode and back to the editing page. Also, you could go ahead to add some cards here, change the layers, use basic blocks, add images, videos, and clips. You could embed apps or web pages, add chats, and you could add forms and buttons. What you can do with this AI tool is endless. I'm still exploring it. And once I'm done, I will be sure to make an updated video on other features. 
By the way, if you're new here, I am Zinni and I make videos on how to use AI to create different types of faceless YouTube channels as well have online businesses to help you generate additional income. If this type of topic interests you, make sure to subscribe to get more videos just like this one. Now, for the individual graphics I created, I used another AI tool which has left me speechless. This AI tool is called Napkin and it is currently free. Once you come into the app, it is going to give you a blank canvas where you can paste in your text. I will paste in my text. Once that is done and selected, you are going to see this bold arrow that says generate visuals. Once you click on it, it will scan through the text you have provided and start giving you different visuals, which you can select from. You could go through it and choose the one you like. So for example, if I like this particular one, once you click on the arrow here, it gives you other options. Let's just close this and generate one that shows you more options once you click on this it starts giving you more visuals which you could use let me just show you a simple visual this particular visual as you can see gives you multiple variations of the same graphics that you can choose from so for example if i like this variation i can just click on it and it drops it on the napkin here which is really cool if you like the visual as it is you can go ahead and select all aspects of the visuals and download. One good thing about this is once you click on the download, you can choose between the light or dark options. As you can see here, if it's the dark, this is how it looks. You could switch it on or switch off the background depending on what you want. You could increase the resolution from 1x, 2x to 3x. Click on download or you can even copy it straight into another application like the Gamma tool we just talked about. This totally depends on what you want or the type of project you are working on. But in terms of the downloading, there are different formats. You can download it as a PNG, as an SVG or as a PDF. Let's just go ahead and click on download here and it downloads it. Now, while that is being downloaded, another thing that you could do as well is edit any part of this graphic. Once you click on one of the example graphics, you can make it bold. You could change the size of the font, change the colors and also the font type. Let's look at what we downloaded and see what the result is. You can see how clean this is and how beautiful this graphics is. With this napkin AI, you can create and download endless graphics for your faceless YouTube channel, content creation, presentation, and even business meetings. There are endless use case scenarios for this particular AI tool. If you know any other AI tool that has been able to generate graphics perfectly, let me know in the comment section below. And that wraps up today's tutorial. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful and feel inspired to start creating stunning graphics and presentations with these AI tools. Whether you're building a faceless YouTube channel, working on a podcast or tackling any creative project, these tools can save you time and elevate your work. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's a specific tool you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.